How do? Pleased to meet you. Carl, we've had a little chat. Um, as usual, I've just rocked up. Been in touch with me. Uh, we're going to talk about an experience that nobody wants to go through, ever. But I think, Carl, if you start off just about, you know, met a girl, that sort of thing. Yeah, met a, a girl. I used to work in hospitals, actually, doing sec well, on the security side of it. She ended up in hospitals. She'd had a car crash. She was in intensive care. Um, when she was starting to come around, we started chatting and stuff. I was all walking past. Uh, and I, we started messaging on Facebook. Met up after that. And I stayed at the hospital, caught a visitor. Then we just got together. Every single day together so from that day. We had a decent relationship. Well, most of the time. Then... Well, we said this. It's a struggle, isn't it? It's, it's, I think Men and women living it, together. We both, we both. Uh, how do I word it? We both. I'm not going to say aggressive. How do I word it? Where you both, you we both want to be in control. Well, well, yeah. She wants to do what she wants to do. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. Well. And it like we clash sometimes. Yeah. We all we, we all clash. do that. We all do that definitely. Um. So. Yeah, we're up and down. We had to move house a few times. Landlord uh, sold up all this kind of business. So I think from word go, it we're always stressed. There was a lot of stress on relationship. Not by us, by other people, stuff going wrong. External. External. She had a job that she obviously loved, uh, really loved it, travelled all over. She was quite well respected, actually. And something happened at work, uh, which I'll tell you now, it's, it, she, she didn't, how do I work? She didn't do what she was accused of, basically. She lost, uh, got suspended, um, and then it all went downhill from there. The stress, everything. Like how, how long did the investigation take? Because these things aren't quick, are they? And no, she went off on sick. Um, and then she actually resigned. It took, it, she, she was forced to resign, basically. Or get pushed. So, yeah, that's So, how long did that process take? Probably a good six months. See, having been through that myself... It's not nice, because she's there, she'll panic. Because then it's not nice, it's the money worries as well. You don't know if you're going to get paid and they keep it going on and on and on. Well, fi financial's a massive one, isn't it? Yeah. But it, it's also, you worked at the same place, didn't you? Yeah. So. Put massive pressure on me, on me, because yeah. I, I, no matter what, I'm always going to defend her. Well, of course you are. Even if she'd have done wrong, I yeah. would have stuck by her. But it's injustice as well. It you were know, injustice, I've, it were piss poor. I've told you, I went through a similar thing at a company, and what you want to do, being a man, is... Yeah, you know, yeah, is I want to go around and have a word with a guy, yeah, as it were. Too, right, However, yeah. you can't because you know what will happen. So you trust the process or whatever. Yeah, and it can leave you. So I think best thing is never work with your wife or never because it just causes so much, so much shit. Because <laughs> then what do I do? They're getting what do I want? I can't, I can't go and be nice to people who are treating my wife like she. I'm having to go home and see what she's like, getting upset and stuff, I'm well, having to deal with that. Then having to go to work and be nice to these people. It'd probably be a struggle for her, the fact that you're working at the same it's place. It's not nice, so I ended up losing my temper a little bit and I fucked off, I walked out. I just One morning I just said, fuck this. And I went. Um, probably not the most intelligent thing to do, because obviously I wasn't going to get paid. Yeah. But then it just all went, then lockdown started, wasn't it? All lockdown. Um, and so just... this this story really starts just to be in a lockdown, doesn't it? Yeah, that hasn't helped because you're under each other's feet, are you? You're under each other's feet. Oh, I, I have said, so when I went sick from prison service, me and our lass, we've had seven years where I've worked pretty much seven days a week. Yeah. And then on sick, two years, every single day living in each other's pockets, yeah. which will test you, won't it? And it did. With everything that was going on. Anyway, so she um, she was suspended for this allegation, which were a lot of shite. Um, she was getting really deadly upset about it because she had, like I say, she was well respected. I hope she worked. Dream job. She worked really hard. She won good money. She worked really hard. She'd come home and she'd just be studying. She was right passionate about it. So I used to come home and I'd see her upset about it because she loved the job. Yep. She'd just sit and say, What am I going to do now? Nobody's going to want me. My name's going to be thingy. Nobody's going to want to do it. Luckily enough, she's got back in industry doing her own little thing, which is yep. good, and I do wish her well. That's that's good. Uh, anyway, um, she was just getting upset more and more. I told her to go see doctors. She said, I don't want to speak to anybody about it. I thought, fair enough, let's just see how it goes. One night, we'd gone out for a drink. Were you planning on getting married? Yes, we did get married. Uh, okay. We got married, yeah, in September, September 14th. Uh, so anyway, we went for a, went for a drink. Uh, everything was fine, she was a little bit quiet, but I thought, you know, she's upset, she's lost her job. She had a lot of good friends there, she made a lot of good good friends. 
what's not to be upset are about. You, are you still working there? I'm, I'm still there. Yeah. Right, so you haven't left yet. She then, we went out for a drink, everything was fine, went to bed. Uh, I don't remember falling asleep, to be fair, I think I'd had one too many. Um, woke up next morning, I think it must have been about five, six o'clock in the morning. I had like somebody, felt like somebody had been sick. I thought, what the fuck's that? Looked at the side, she wasn't there, shouted out. No answer. Then that noise again, like a gipping noise. I thought, what's fucking going on here? So I thought she's been sick. I'm going to go out and see if she's all right. Went on to the landing. Bathroom's right here. Yeah. Nobody in the bathroom. I thought, what the fuck? Then I looked, like, looked side. She's there swinging by the rope, eyes coming out. I've had to see that. Um, I've then, I just, just thrown myself at her. Pulled her down, wrapped her down. She's come down and she's fallen up the floor. Luckily enough, she survived it, thank God. So whatever it was that woke me up that that morning, that's that's done it. Uh, but I think the trouble started after this. The effects that that had on me after. So my mental health took a nosedive after witnessing. So when you've got a down hospital ambulance, I'm all that, all same, yeah, all business uh, you know, you'd have, yeah. Mental health team at hospital. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were placing local where she went to. Did they involve assess. you in that? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, because it was me. I had counsel. I got offered counselling. I did a bit of it, um, but I just didn't want to be speaking to strangers about it. I'm a bit more open about stuff now. Like you said, I've never met yourself. I've come no. and I've spoke to you. Yeah. I just didn't want to speak to professionals because all they tend to throw tablets at you. I've been on medication. To me, I'm not saying that they don't work for everybody. They, they probably do. For me, they don't. They make me worse. No, they made... Uh, I, I've stopped I, it all now, and I feel I feel myself. Yeah. I feel like I'm at work, I'm having banter with lads, I'm having a joke, I can take a joke. Before, I was just like walking around like a zombie. But it's still, it's not that long ago, this, Very it? raw, very raw, very raw indeed. I mean, like, wedding anniversary is coming up soon, so that's not... It's... But I just think from then on, after witnessing something like that, it, it affects you big time. And I know uh, it's going to be difficult. Uh, we've already said about men talking about things and that. Um, so when you went out on landing, it's yeah. like I fucking got goosebumps up back of my neck then. I can't even... Mm. That that moment. So how long? How often do you relive that? It's quite often, mate. If I'm honest. Very vivid. Yeah, I can remember. I can remember exactly what she was saying. Exactly what happened after. I'd, you know, after it happens. It's not something you'd expect to see, is it? Not when you just woke up. And the fact, I think the scariest thing is, I had no idea it was gonna happen. I had no idea. Well. Bit over and that. A little bit more over, a bit days. Then I thought, shit. Then I, when I. Cut her down and she run floor. I thought this, we've got some serious shit here. Got some serious shit. How was she with you immediately? She was a bit angry that I'd stopped what were about to happen, but she's seen after that that she, I don't think she's. I think she's glad that I did because, like I say, she's back in the industry now. So she's and she's moved. She's moved on. We've split up. I wish I do wish her well. Um, but the mental the mental side of it for me has been it's been not but torture. I think. First week after it happened, how bad was that? Horrible. I was, I, was, I was prancing around like an idiot, like smothering her, just trying to run around. It's it's weird, but it's just, I felt like if I let her out of my sight, something's going to go on, because I thought if it's... I don't know how to word it. I was, just, I was Listen, scared. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to go to work, and I just didn't... Why would you? Um, I didn't like want to do say, it. It's not something I can imagine. Uh, I have told you, I have a very good friend who's Mrs... Um, you know, his voices telling her to kill herself, things like that. I've asked him about sleep and stuff like that. I can't imagine, mate. Um, Just everything that comes with it, and it after. Like, how every, how um, difficult was it, like talking about this to family immediately? When it's just uh, that, you said you kept it close, didn't you? you didn't yeah, yeah there's not people. many people that know. So obviously, if people do know me and they see this, that it's going to be coming out. What's going on? Um, so that's why I've been a bit off with people so to speak i cancel i've been planning to go out for drinks so i cancel them at last minute because i have a down day and i can't be asked i don't want to speak to anybody obviously my close family know they know what's going on yeah um i don't think i've gone into much detail of what's going on because i don't think people need to really a lot of it's personal it's personal it? i don't want people to know what but yeah it's it were very it were traumatic to say the least then it had a, it, like i say it had a massive effect on on me as a person Smothering, so, worrying every time she'd go out. If we'd have an eye, I, I understand every couple argues. Yeah. You know, you, I'm just going to get in calm and fuck off because I want to go for a bit of space. Clear me head. I'd panic then. I'd think, shit. I'd try to ring her. She won't answer the phone. And I'd be automatic. I'd be running around my living room. I'd thinking, 
And it does it. I didn't realise how much it would affect me till that till that one time, and I was really panicking, drilling a phone. Da, da, da. So, how long or how long before your wedding with this? Uh, this was this was the February, and we got married the September. So about six months, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. And was that a torrid time? Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, it were it were bad. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, then we lost us home as well. We had to move out into another house, so there was stress of that. And moving and planning a wedding because we wanted to make sure that wedding happened, you know, when it happened. So she'd already lost the job. Yeah. So just tell me, when you've had this incident, you're still working where she got finished from. Yeah. What was that like? Horrible. I, I wanted to blow the place up, to be honest. I, I wanted to go and be absolute savage. How long did you carry on working? Uh, not long. A few, probably a couple of months, a few months. Um, but. Did you I get just... into a lot of conflict? Yeah. Because I didn't like it, I didn't like how she was trapped, and I didn't like the, the, you know, when somebody does that, who's, who's been, well, even if they've been working there a week, you think you'd have some kind of, something in you to at least offer us to go around and Humanity. speak to her. Just some, to, you know, nobody ever coming to me after after I'd witnessed it, not one of them at work. How long did you work there? I'd worked there about three years. How long did she work there? A little while, about 15. 15 years, 15 years yeah. working for a company. Nobody come to me at that establishment and said, right, we need to have a sit down with you. How are you doing? Is it what we can do to support you? It was me on my own. Was it a big company? Big-ish, yeah. Did they have, like, an HR department? Yeah, yeah, it was them who got fucking... who told her, you know, got shot of her, who wanted to get shot of her. And all this was just from an allegation which were made against her, which were totally untrue, and I know for a fact it was untrue. And she's led her to do that, and it's it's just had a knock-on effect, and I were expected to go there and, and be a... Happy and happy, you know, Christmas parties and it's all this kind of business. And I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was me having to wake up and see her like that. Yeah. And I thought, fuck this, I'm not having it. And I, I did, did, I walked out. Did the people there know she tried to take her own life? Yeah, bosses did. They were at Maldives. They were at Maldives, didn't give a fuck. Nobody, nobody come to me and said, you all right? Do you want to some time off? Not like, a phone oh. call to her or no, anything nothing, after not, 15 years? Not a bunch of flowers, not a card, no, no. Just gossip. Nobody would give a shit. And then they, they, they wanted, to, after this had happened... Uh, they wanted to discipline me for having time off work to deal with it. Were you taking time off to look after? I, I there were a lot of time. I, I, I didn't want to be there because not 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 that I didn't like the job. It's just I was worried. I was worried I was going to come home one afternoon and see that you know something happened again. And I think it, 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 that controlled me more than I controlled it because I was just more worried about what I'd find when I come home every time. I'd wake up in the morning for a piss at about six, and shit me and walking across the land, thinking I'm going to... Really? And we moved, because, you know, we, we had to move. With the house? Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. So you lost, you, you left your job, finished? I walked out one morning, I thought, I had a to-do, because all I did is I went up and asked if she were going to be paid her overtime that month. I got told that I was sticking my nose and you can't discuss. I said, hang on a minute, my fucking wife's just... What do you want to do? Come in yourself and, you know, speak to you. No, and the shit, we just all kicked off. So, I, I lost my temper just today. I tell you what, get fucked. Throw me pass back and that were it. I walked out. And I don't think we heard from him since. And that's after 15 years of her, of her working there. And I feel for her because she put everything into it. She put a lot of effort into it and she was well respected, or at least I thought she was. I, I, I... You see, they, I, I, I don't even know what to say about it's that. Inhumane, it's inhumane, mate. It's, yeah, not, it it's not right. It's it's not normal. Even if she'd been working a week there a week and somebody did that to the She must have had friends there. She, she had been friends, there yeah. 15 yeah, years. Yeah. But it was a management. Because the, the because they wanted to spend, suspend her, the colleagues, you're not allowed to contact them at work, are you? It's against rules. You know, oh, you know what I mean? What a load of bollocks. It's is. a load of bullshit. But they were more bothered about the disciplinary than what had actually fucking happened. More bothered about that and the HR fucking trying to prove a point. And it's just, it's, it'll, still, it'll always sit bad with me with that, mate, because I, I, I couldn't do that. I've, well, I've got a heart, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I would imagine that he uh, probably wanted to, uh, I don't know. I mean, what can you do? But then I can't do anything, but I can imagine that uh, the absolute frustration, what they've done to it, and then after something like that, that there's not even a word or a... Uh... Nothing. Not even a card, mate, not even a card. So you're both out of work now. Yes. Marriage coming up. Money worries, all the like. Uh, having to move out, obviously. Um, I found work. I am always in and out of work. I can find jobs quite easy. Um, but she struggled because she was active to be out working. She was travelling about and she was just sat there and it was just got locked down. We couldn't go anywhere. Couldn't even get out. Couldn't even go fucking see your parents, could you? 
No. Uh, and it, we just got under each other's feet. We were arguing a lot. A lot of nasty stuff got said from both sides. Me as well, also. Um, and I just think it just, just everything, just everything that happened, just, just, just ruined it. Did you it. consider not getting married, or was it just? It just. No, we planned it, and then we we wanted a church wedding, so we got a church wedding local. I thought it were a good day. Um, just I think it. I don't know. I don't know how we split up. I can't really explain what's. Just a new number of things. I think just a lot of stress and what is and my anxieties didn't help. But she didn't understand my anxieties. But I wouldn't expect her to because she didn't see what I saw. So she went unless you see it. it how do you know? She thought you were being possessive and overprotective. Yeah, stop worrying, stop. But it's all right saying that to somebody, but when you come out on a morning and see your wife there, how would it have affected? Fucking knock you for six, wouldn't it? Yeah. Knock you for six. And normally I'm pretty, pretty, it's pretty solid, but that fucking ruined me. That. Oh, come on, mate. That's not That ruined even, me, yeah. It's fucking really upset me. Um, there were times I couldn't even, I'd think about it and start crying at home, on my own, because I blame myself for not, Stop it! Not for her getting that far. Well, you, Even though she didn't die, thank yeah. God. If I hadn't have come out, she would have done. And I blame myself for that. She got that law that she felt that she had to do that. But like I say, like I've said to you just then before, ten percent of people. I'd say the, the percentage of suicide people that will say, "I'm going to go do this on that." Ninety percent what? They're just saying it. Ten percent will. I think the ones that seriously want to do it. You've got no idea. Did, you don't yeah, have a clue. You blame yourself as well that you didn't see it coming. I didn't, didn't see you? it coming. It would be like I said, we'd been out for a night and it, I would beat myself up more and more. But like I spoke to somebody. Are you still doing that? Sometimes, but she's still here, so it's good. I'm just glad that I did wake up. Whatever it was that made, it, made me wake up, I woke up, which is a good thing, and I, I managed to save her. Um, well, but, it's good that there's no ill feeling that way. Um, we don't often speak. She texted me the other day, to be fair, and I told her I were doing this podcast. Because I thought we were only right, because if she sees it, I didn't want to... No, no. Um, but yeah, it's then after that, um, I started partying, drinking. Not bothered about not... Me apparently I didn't give a shit, putting on weight. Not going into work. Sometimes I got a job on an agency, I didn't fucking go in, couldn't be bothered. I was more bothered about going out, doing what. But I figured that was just masking, masking... Well, not even masking it, to be honest. I think it was just something to do to try and take my mind off it. But like I say, next morning, it's still there. Yeah, still as raw as ever. When you when you're hung over, you're still depressed. Then it got to a point where I'd had enough of it. I just, especially when she left, she went. She's moved out. She's gone. And I that rejection there that that hit me hard. Then I was panicking. And I think the time I spent on my own, I was just going on downward spiral. I wasn't talking to anybody. People around me were noticing me change. And you all right? You know something don't seem right with you. What were your family like? Did they support you? They did. My sister were very worried at one point. Did you let them in or not? I did. I don't really. I, I say bits and bats. I'll say what I want to say. I don't really ever go into detail. I tell them how I'm suffering. But uh, there were one night it come to an end, and I'd been drinking. I thought I've had enough. I'm gonna go do something. I planned it all. Knew what I was gonna do. Set off to do it. And I got a text. I can't remember. Who, I can't remember who it was from. My phone, phone vibrated, and I have a picture of my niece on my front. Oh, I did at the time. And then I pressed it, and I seen, and I thought, "Fuck, what am I doing?" I snapped out of it. I thought, "What am I doing? You know, this is not, this is not, this is going to cause devastation. Why do? Why am I going to do that over what I've seen?" So from that day on, after being sat, I was sat for for weeks, just feeling sorry for myself, crying all the time, not working, not bothering with anybody, not eating. I just thought to myself, "I can either sit here for the rest of my life and blame myself, or I'll start overthinking stuff, or I can get out and do something about it." So I got out and do something about it. And to be fair, now I feel better, the best now that I've done in, in a fair few years. And that's just from just getting out, keeping active, speaking to people. Yeah. Because I've always thought if you sat on your own, you, like, you, you, I think your mind and your own thoughts are your worst enemy, aren't they? Uh, what did we say? What you said? Sometimes you, it's like that self love thing, you know, yeah. you need to appreciate yourself and, you know, you, you've done your bit, you've done what you can. Yeah, yeah. You know, no ill feeling or anything like that, but. Definitely need to sort of look after yourself, That's don't it. you? I mean, I were getting messages of people I didn't, I didn't think give a shit, saying, you know, you'll be all right, you know, you, you're worth more than this, come out over end, you know, get yourself back, and I thought, you know, something, I'm, I'm fucking loved. You know what I mean? There's people here that do care. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to prove every... People were expecting me to be fucked. I think that I thought, it's going to go down a little bit, we're going to wake up in the morning to this news. But I thought to myself, I'm going to get out there, get a better job, get my finances in order, 
and just and just have a bit of like a bit of me time on my own, you know, to try and fix, rebuild my own confidence and stuff. Yeah. Um, and that's worked. I've just, I've just, I've just kept going and kept going. But like, I, I think worst thing, I was getting people saying, "Oh, you're gonna be all right. You'll be fine. You know, it'll be all right." And so I just thought, "Fuck off." They haven't got a clue. Well, but the, it does. It the, really does get better in time. Do you know what? It's, people, it's hard to explain. People don't know what to say. They're embarrassed. Me. I've just always been a gobshite. If yeah. someone you know has just lost their mother, you I'll see him or walk up and just say sorry to you about your mum. Yeah. Whereas a lot of people they're embarrassed to talk about things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and I'm more like I've been to doctors or tell me a bit what's going on and I'm just like I don't know what to say. My wife tried to do this is how I feel. But like I say, they just throw tablets it's at It's embarrassing, here. isn't it? I don't Explain like speaking. I don't I just don't Yeah, I don't it's what what do you say to something like that? It's then I'd load it's, of it's, shit Well, it, it is a man thing, isn't it? It's, uh, it's very much, you know... I had a good doctor who I could talk to. Different circumstances to yourself, but still feeling shit and stuff like that. And having somebody who I felt I could talk to and they listened... Yeah. And they weren't just, you know... They yeah, weren't, yeah. weren't pushing meds or anything else. Just said, if you feel you need some you can come or whatever. Yeah. But the mate thing, I think, is very interesting because situations I were in like that, like yourself, people would always say, it'd be right. I got suspended, private sector, prison service. Yeah. yeah. People kept saying, you'll be all right, you're on full pay. It's not if the fucking point. No, exactly. Pay they stops when you get sacked. They, they don't, <laughs> well, they don't understand that, you know, first of all, these allegations that are like, if you're innocent, it's yeah, gonna yeah. it's gonna fucking screw you. Yeah. And then the other thing is, you're worrying, like you said, about getting psyched, no pay, and other things. And I just it's I hard. Know. It's it's an hard. One. And I, I I do think everything went against us. Like together, we got on all right. We got on well. We had a laugh. But when we'd argue, we'd fucking argue. And I mean, argue, we'd be shouting and screaming and stuff. Stuff gets said, and then. But then, like I said, we had to move out. She lost her job. And then this, it just everything seemed to be. Well, no. They, it were negative, a lot of negatives, and I kept saying before she was leaving, can we not just try and, you know, and just, I think it's just too much had gone on. But like I say, I, I do wish at best. I don't I don't have any hard feelings towards her at all. It's, uh, and I'm glad she's still here. 100% that, 100%. So, your future now, what, what you're seeing is... I'm just concentrating on myself, going to get me... I've got an HGV course coming up, so I'm going to be getting that. Make some money. Like my dad lives abroad, so I won't mind going saving up a bit of money and going spending a bit of time over there. Yeah, he lives in Cyprus, so he's got it all right. So it's just I think as for relationships, I'm not not for now. I've had I had a slight relationship after the wife left, and it was just a bit of fun. Uh, but like my anxiety is to start playing up there and I'll start worrying about the stuff. There's no to do. It's just a totally different person. But I do think it has an effect. Like even my daily life, I will, I will panic and I'd, I'd have to come home and check on my dinner. Are you all right? Yeah, what are you doing now? I've just come to see if you're all right and stuff. And then you. I bet that proper. It pissed her off. It pissed off. She was like, in the that era on the phone, oh, Adam's just come back. What's he doing? This or another. But it's just that's how, just from what I saw, that's how it affected me. And I didn't think, I didn't think I was that bad until I realised I was bad. So, so Miss, I forget, Mrs. I said, you know, you need help. You need to go see somebody because you're not. You're not, you're not right, you're not right, but I had a few, I went to see doctors, got put on tablets, I've stopped them because I, I don't, for me they don't work, they just mask it, uh, they just, I think the, the side effects are worse, well, so now I don't do all like that, don't do any tablets. I, I would just, never advocate nobody taking them or not taking them, like you said, they help some people, but the thing is, if, if your situation's not changing... Yeah, it's... You, you know, you sat on your ass yeah. or just boozing or whatever, then no one's yeah, going to yeah. get any better, is whereas you're going out there now. Yeah. I were going on two, three-day parties coming home, Monday morning feeling as depressed as ever. Not not achieving, no, just making matters. Think, I think I'm going to go out, go and have some fun. Trust me, when that party's over, there's nobody there for you. You're in the fucking shit. Yeah, of course Ten not. times worse. So that's why I've decided to just give all that. I, I don't bother with that. I just I keep me centre myself. Spend a lot of time with my sister and my niece. Um and that's it. Just a quiet life, simple life really now, I think. So yeah. Work focused. Definitely work focused more than more than I ever have been. I think it's a good idea getting over and seeing your dad a bit. bit yeah. Of sunshine. That's it. Like my jobs, I've always been in and out of jobs and I've never really settled in any one place that I've enjoyed it. This job I've got now I enjoy. 
and I feel like I can have a bit good crack with lads, a bit of banter. After this had happened with the wife, yeah, I started somewhere else, but I just went with it. I couldn't have a, I couldn't open up with lads. I couldn't have a have a have a relationship banter. I was just I was more bothered about, and I wasn't concentrating on my job. I was so worried about what she's doing at home. Yeah, well, why, why and it would fucked you? me a big well, time. Exactly. But now I, I'm coming out of me, so I'm starting to think feel like I'm me again. But it's taken a, it's taken a fucking long time. Is that why it's... we're doing this? Yeah, because I feel I can speak. I wouldn't have done this six months ago. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I've had people ask me what's happened. You're like, oh, what's there? Don't want to talk about it. But now I think sometimes you've got to talk about it because you do need to raise awareness that I think if you do see something that's traumatic, because that you need to seek help. What, whatever you that may to, be. Anything, even if it's going out for a cup of tea with your gran or something. Just, just you need to do something to don't sit there on your own because I think yeah. If you're an overthinker like me, you're fucked. We're social animals, aren't we? Yeah. However, what we do is we isolate. Yeah. Or fucking drink. Um, uh, you get a mate coming out for. I don't feel right. I'm a bit down today. Come for a pint. I buy you a pint. Go for a pint. You have another ten. Like I say, you wake up the day after. It's still there. It's not. Where's your mate? He's, no. he's fucking home. He's at work. He's doing. He's living his life with his wife. I'm at home there in a, in a room on my own, thinking shit. So, are you thinking that? counselling and things like that you're just going to swerve it now you sort of got a I'm just going to do I'm just going to do like the how can I work the natural clean living where I don't drink I'll just focus on I've joined a gym obviously I've still got loads of work to do just join a gym all I'm going to do is live simple just gym work family that's it I think that's all you need at the minute I'm nowhere near ready to be settling down without else at the minute not after what's gone on you've got quite an old head on young shoulders still a young lad um, it's not that long ago this is it no no not at all mate no not at all and could you see how that maybe well you, you you're bringing yourself out of it could you have seen if it had gone wrong way or whatever that i think could you see how people could slip into sort of if if years if, of, if the worst that have happened do you mean i think I'd, i don't think i'd have been here now really and that's under that's god's honest truth because to see what i saw and she survived it it's torture enough, but I think if that had happened and it won't, if I hadn't saved her, I don't think I'd have been here now. Well, that's, 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 but luckily enough I did, so. Yeah, it's terrible, it's bad, it's, it's terrible, mate, to be honest, it's, what can you say? Well, <laughs> like we said before I start, uh, you had one on me, I didn't know where we were coming. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very difficult when you get a text or a little phone call off someone to judge what someone's like, I don't even know what people look like. Could be however, anybody, however, uh, well, I hope you feel comfortable as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Comfortable yeah, sat here. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you seem like you've got your, your head proper screwed on. I have now. Six months ago, I were a fucking idiot. It's still, you see, yeah, yeah. for me, it's not a long time. Two years is nothing. Things that have gone on, on top of all that, and I think a lot of people crumble with financial pressure right now. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Because you've got your direct debits coming out. No, it's all, it's, it's not just a rent, is it? You've got everything that comes no. with it. So, yeah, I've got my finances sorted now. Built my credit score back up, thank God. I'm just starting to be me again, so that's what I want to do from now on. Just keep keep focus. Keep. Obviously, I'm going to I'm gonna have off, off days. Yeah. I'm going to be sat, someone's going to remind me of it or someone will tell you and I think, shit, well, then I'll still... be upset. I'll always have, I think I'll always have that. But I'm just glad that I just, I'm just glad I saved her that day, to be fair, mate. Because that would, that, that, were, that were real, that were real shit. Can't imagine. So call me, would you be happy if I came back in six months? Yes, and see where we go. Yeah. Yeah, mate, yeah, 100%. I've been offered uh, to do like live talks and stuff with mental health teams and stuff and mental health groups that like local local charities and stuff but I've cancelled, I've always cancelled last minute you know because I've been getting ready enough for I want to go but then I'm thinking shit I don't want to because I don't want people staring at me then judging me because we live in a world where people judge each other Very no much. matter what, Very I've seen so. trolls online there's some rights what's about because I worried about doing this I thought with trolls but then again I've seen you're pretty good with trolls, aren't you? On there, you don't get many, do you? No, not at all. Subscribers, if if there is any, then subscribers and people, they're very kind in the comments. They appreciate yeah. the fact people are telling it how it is and telling their stories and helping yeah. other people. So, no. I think message. I think message I want to give out is just like if you if you do go through some trauma, just keep going. Don't give in. Just keep just keep fighting for what you want and just keep going and going and going and you'll get there in the end. 
might take you years, it might take you a couple of weeks, but you, I think if you just keep at it, keep focused, you'll be right. Especially if you've got a loving family and stuff around you, you're all right, are you? Yeah. That's the way I see it. But we'll just see where stuff goes, but compared to what I was six months ago, I'm, I'm a lot happier, which is good. Definitely. You being British talking team like me, wouldn't you too? I can talk a glass eye to sleep, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I, like, I do like a good chat, yeah. But it's the first time I've properly opened up and spoke about it, so I feel a bit better for it. I thought, I wonder if I'm going to start crying. I thought, I don't know, but... Well, my eyes always fill up. I can't help it, me. You yeah. know, when you listen to people start... I, I don't give... I give a shite me now, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. People go through a lot of shit. I appreciate people coming out. I know it's helping people. I had my doubts way back. You know, I've only been out in six months. Yeah. But if you read the comments, you know what people are saying. It's helping that. people, isn't it? Incidentally, I'll just, just add this on. I don't want to... Some of you guys have seen... Uh, Paul, the ex-copper, domestic violence. I was telling Carl here... Um, Paul lost touch with his sister when he was going through all his trouble. She, you know, said he didn't care about his kids, stuff like that. He was an arsehole, didn't like him or whatever. She saw his chat we had, never realised all that, and his sister's come back in his life now, which is obviously very good. The family thing, what would you say on the family thing? Because like you say, very difficult, you know, you tell them little bits, but not everything. Yeah. But would you not cut your family out, because... I don't... think if you've got a supportive family that care about you, you need to confide in them, you definitely need to speak to somebody. I think if you're one of them that are, you're from a... What's the word? A family that's not all together, they're all... It's all well, they, uh, quite often, don't they, life? You, you know, when I went to Manchester, we're only like an hour and a half from Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't see lots of people for a long time. No, that's it. But, like, I got a bit of shit off her. Uh, her father thought what had happened, saying that I should have, I should, it wouldn't have happened if I, you know, all this kind of business. Uh, but you still let it go off your head, don't you? Just, you got to. And I understand he's angry, I understand he's angry, and I get that, but, you know, fucking hell blaming me for something. If it no, weren't for me, it wouldn't be but, You know, it takes a big man to sort of let something like that go, and yeah. be understanding about it. Um, maybe one day, yeah. they'll, they'll be grateful. Hopefully. What, what you Hopefully. did. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So, you'd be happy to come back in six months Absolutely, then. mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Might be even more positive, yeah. No, I think very positive message there, mate. Um, less than two years, still raw, no bitterness, taking it on chin. Yeah. Got a plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've definitely got a plan, yeah. I won't mind retiring abroad eventually when it's all sorted. A few years' time, yeah. Oh, easy, Tiger. Good, th good 30 odd years <laughs> yet, mate, yeah. <laughs> So we'll see, we'll go from there. Six but, months then? Yeah, 100%, I'll keep in touch, I'll watch your videos anyway. Is, so. is there anything else you'd like to say? Ju no, just just, just if you are suffering, um, as selfish as it may sound, you can help other people, but always help yourself. Look after number one, because your, your own mental health is, 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 is important. I think so. Definitely. You're living for yourself, aren't you? Absolutely. Great stuff, thank you. I hope that's come across all right. It's, uh, Mate, I have... I honestly don't care. I've enjoyed the chat. You've yep. been very open. It'll definitely help people. Nice one. And we're going to do it six months. Absolutely. I'll put it in my calendar, mate, yeah. And we'll keep in touch. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Carl. Thank you. Much appreciated, mate. No worries, mate.